Welcome everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elliot and today we are going to discuss deeper network. We are going to see if this is going to be the next revolution of the entire web or this is just another shitcoin. I don't know yet, I've done some research, but yeah, let's see what comes out. So we're going to do it like we always do. We're going to first take a look at the product, really short. Then we're going to take a look at the team. We're going to do some due diligence. Then we're going to take a look at, real good look at our tokenomics. Um, based on that, also on competitor analysis, we can maybe, hopefully, we can do kind of a price prediction for when it gets um, out of the IDO. So yeah, deeper network. A lot of people are talking about this. This has been on Pulse. This is going to be launched also on Paid Network. Uh, it's unfortunately not going to be on DuckDAO anymore. For some reason, we're also going to maybe find out. I don't know. Anyhow, before further notice, let me start off also by saying thank you to all the new subscribers. I will be really excited if we get like a thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's going really quick. Uh, welcome to all the people that joined our Telegram channel. You are really welcome also to come enjoy us and uh, chill with us and uh, yeah, just discuss crypto with each other. Uh, other than that, let's get right into it, right? Deeper network. What are they basically trying to do? Without making it too complex for everyone, they are just trying to create a new layer for internet. So basically, you're going to have a, like a hardware the same way you um, mine Bitcoin. And there are people that are um, actually helping the network by solving these equations and basically securing the network. Basically, deeper network has also a hardware and uh, you can buy that hardware, hardware and basically connect to an internet that they say is going to be much more secured, much more fair. Uh, it's going to be a next generation of web. So it's going to be on the blockchain. So the way we share information and also the bandwidth and uh, the, 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 um, the data, everything that is within it actually. Um, yeah, and people that help the network. So they basically connect. They are also gonna have like uh, mining incentives, which means that they're also gonna, well, um, get like coins from the transaction fees, but also from the inflation rate within the, uh, within the uh, network itself. So yeah, it's going to be a decentralized private network. So yeah, this is the hardware that I was talking about. The harmony of blockchain tangible products. So you have the mini, you have the nano, you have the lights and you have the family. Um, yeah, it's cool that they also work with the hardware. They actually pulled it off. Uh, this project has been around since 2018, even before. Uh, they wanted to do an ICO in 2019. And uh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, the partners, there are a lot of big names here. But here's the thing that I don't know, like, is Polkadot really like a partner of yours or is Amazon really a partner of yours or is it just because you're using AWS for your hosting or whatever? Because that will mean that um, if I will launch a project myself and uh, I watch Netflix because I have a, a subscription, well, Netflix is like my, um, my partner or uh, Binance is my partner because I have an account there and, and Coinbase too. Like, what do you mean by Amazon is a partner of yours? And that's kind of the thing that I'm really skeptical about. So, so yeah, again, uh, the website was created three years ago, which is a good sign. I mean, that's also about the time that we have seen them come out with uh, the first ICO, first white paper. Um, yeah, so David Jin, he is the, uh, um, the CEO of uh, Deeper Network. Um, he does exist. <laughs> um, there are some websites that I found uh, with articles about him. Um, he has been busy with this uh, project for a few years now, so it's good to see. They have been really active as a website. I mean, links are coming into them. Uh, so this, this is a tool that shows uh, how many domains are linking basically to deeper network. Uh, we can see that they have been active since end of, end of 2018. Um, so another thing that was really interesting about the team is the fact that they have on Telegram 17,700 17, something. Um, and then I looked at Twitter and it's actually like they have exactly the same amount of followers. It's like, uh, I don't know, really weird. Um, other than that, yeah, if you take a look at the, how many followers, they are fake. There are a lot of them fake. I've never seen something like uh, almost 40%. That's a lot, honestly. So yeah, like I said before, DuckDAO decided not to. Uh, they canceled basically the public offering. I don't think that Deeper are really minded at some point because they already got the marketing from DuckDAO, of course. And um, 
and after that um, they also reached out to other uh, pools which were more than interested to take it on whether or not to make the changes i think that this is the reason why DuckDAO decided not to do it anymore is because here they are saying that uh, around 16 percent of the 10 percent that they are selling we're talking about like a billion uh, of these tokens are going to be so 160 million of these tokens are going to be released at a centralized exchange listing now they don't specify which exchange is going to be when it's going to be so i i don't know like when they're going to dump this and then then unlock after six months so that means like i don't know who who their seed investors are but they're probably people that have invested in them like uh, the past two three years and they've put a lot of pressure into like uh, getting as much as money as possible out of this project um well that said i mean that's my opinion right if i'm looking at the cell i think it's extremely greedy i think the uh seed investors are getting like uh too much for the money's uh worth um so yeah let's take a look so basically they are saying that uh, the initial market cap is going to be around what is it um initial circulating supply initial market cap is going to be 4 million 4 million 260 i think that's a very high initial market cap especially if you are taking into account that based on my calculations they're going to have like two um 224 or two percent a little bit more than two percent of their supply is going to be circulating i think this is extremely high honestly um because that means that they have already calculated that their project even before they have launched it is worth 200 million dollars um yeah that's a lot so initial circulating supply 213 i get 224 and i'm not even counting uh the seat cell and i literally took everything everything that they're saying like um number for number i don't know <laughs> if they're cfo well they don't have a cfo so i don't know um basically their numbers are just not correct like you could do these calculations very easy yourself and see that it's um anyhow let's say you invest in this project and you get like in the public b right you get into the public B, you uh, you invest 200 bucks into it. I don't know if it's going to be uh, more than $200, but based on paid network and the previous sales, it was either 150 or 200. Let's say it's going to be 200, right? You invest 200, you get 10,000 tokens, which in a circulating supply of, of uh, 10 billion, that's nothing. <laughs> but anyhow, let's, let's try to stay positive. So you get 10,000 tokens and they get into the market and the um the initial market cap is going to be four million you break even you don't lose any money awesome if they get like a market cap of 20 million which is 20 million circulating um you get which one one second like um 20 million is probable right we have seen that happening to a lot of other projects a lot of them are getting to 20 million some of them are even getting to 50 million if we take a look at split that was i think it got like a two almost three, three billion fully diluted um so those are really really crazy amounts um if i look at this project i know that it's very hyped i think it's reasonable to say it's going to get between 20 to um to 50 million uh initial market cap that's just my feeling honestly i'm not basing it too many things except like the the mania that is happening within the market right now so yeah anyhow if they get um the amount of let's say enigma you're going to less have your money if they get to substrate them you're going to break even serum labs you're going to do like two and a half percent of your money uh this one is a very good one uh made safe uh, that would be like 75 percent of your of your money and very very highly highly unlikely if we get to uh which means that this one needs to be 75 so it's about 70 yeah so this one is going to be filecoin so investing 200 dollars in this one if you get the same market cap of filecoin which I highly, highly doubt <laughs> you're going to almost be a millionaire. So it's less than uh, split, but yeah, maybe, who knows? Uh, good luck to everyone.
Um, honestly, uh, there are a lot of red flags behind this project. Um, I'm not extremely positive about it. I am going to try to get an allocation because it's a crazy market. But if this was a bear market, I would have uh, not invested in this project. I've seen a lot of other projects trying to do exactly the same thing. Having a decentralized kind of web uh, solution. I don't see that really happening. I don't see people really buying this stuff and connecting that to their laptops. I wouldn't do it myself because I just don't trust it. I would never like do something like that. I really prefer just using um, a tour or a VPN. Uh, and then again, um, in, in the very near future, we are all gonna have like internet everywhere because of um, a Starlink of the boring company, you know, those rocket like uh, what SpaceX is launching. Um, and we also gonna have like 5G, that's gonna be a lot quicker, I guess. Um, a lot of other solutions to just get like private internet. I don't see this as being worth like billions of dollars. And we're not even talking about the, the network that you're buying here. You're talking, you're, you're literally buying a coupon. You're buying a coupon within a network that doesn't exist yet. So um, uh, other than that, I think I like the in initiative. I like the incentive, whatever. I think it's a humble thing to do. I am going to invest in this project. I'm just like in, uh, from a personal perspective, I'm not going to do it for it for a long term because I just don't see it happening. Um, I'm going to invest in it short term, probably going to keep a little bit of it, give them like liquidity on Uniswap. Other than that, yeah. Uh, I just needed more information regarding also the CEO. I was looking for a lot more uh, utility within the token that I didn't really find. Um, I don't see it as a really um, decentralized network like Bitcoin because of the fact that they are actually minting a lot of this uh, of their token. I know that they keep 60% for the mining, but it's just not enough. Um, also, a lot of uh, red flags regarding the sale, regarding the numbers there. Uh, why they didn't get onto DuckDAO and also like the big spread between uh, the seed round and the public round. For me, it's just a bit uh, a, a red flag. So just be careful out there. I'm not saying this is a, this is a scam. I'm just saying like there are a lot of flags for me at least to really commit myself long term to this kind of project. Um, other than that, Thank you for watching again. Sorry this took a little bit too long, uh, especially the, the last uh, piece of it, but I think that was the most interesting. Uh, yeah, have a great day and um, thank you. See you next time.